Since making a viral TikTok video, Azia Naisanya has been dancing her way to the top. And now, she is amongst the most preferred influences by brands. From a tender age, I always wanted to be a star. I mean, I didn't know when or how that was going to happen. But when other people wanted to be doctors, engineers, oh, nurses, lawyers, all of them. I always wanted to be a star. I was always mimicking stuff from the TV, acting around, dancing, dancing sillyly to music. I wish you'd have seen me. It always seemed like I was fooling around. And as you'd expect, I did have some few teachers, fellow students, sometimes even family members, who expressed that my fooling around wouldn't take me anywhere. I was hurt. I was discouraged. Because for me, my talent was the only life game plan that I had. So I set out to work hard, prove them wrong and become a star. This graceful TikTok dancer traces her roots in a village in Western Kenya filled with Zilizopendo music. Life in Mumias was simple. It was fun. It was amazing. You know, the trees, we used to live an hour from my grandparents' place. So every weekend we'd be there playing with my cousin, going to the shamba. Sikulima, but listening to Zilizopendo. <laughs> you know, the sounds of Daudi Kabaka, Samba Mapanga. That one, yeah, still my favorite, Papa Lolo, brings back good memories. And this was influenced by my grandparents, and it's because of them that till date I still love and listen to Zilizopendua. Being lucky is when opportunity meets excellence. Her dream and journey to be a media personality started a while back. Going viral was just a catalyst. I realized that the only constant that I had in my life was me. The dreamer. So when I got to high school, I decided to check, take charge of my life, take control of my dreams, because while change inevitably happens to you, for you to achieve your goals and dreams, you must make it happen for yourself. I took part in all the drama festivals. I was doing narrative solo verses, went to the nationals a couple of times. I immersed myself in everything that I did. I love doing what I did. Interestingly, you know, a lot of teachers did not care about talent. They did not take it seriously. But I had one or two teachers who were always there, you know, supportive, cheering me on. I actually had this one teacher who connected me with Hearts of Art, a theatre group here in Nairobi. So upon my completion of my KCSE exam in 2017, I went for an audition with a group. Who? My acting was good, very good, but by high school standards, qua ground, things were different. <laughs> now, till date, I honestly don't understand why in high school we're not taught to just have a conversation, speak like a real person would. There's this sing song that we always have, instead of saying, um, I will be having Ogali and Skuma for supper, I will be having Skuma and... Why did we have to? So yeah, I remember standing on that stage and I gathered all the confidence I could muster and I summoned my high school acting accent and I embarrassed myself to death. Even though I did that, that director saw a diamond in the rough and I was hired. So consequently, I had to change my approach towards acting, you know, learn, relearn, perfect, try to transform from being a high school actor to a professional actor. Whew. 
I was finally beginning to leave my dream. Having gotten a job as a radio presenter on Sound City FM even before her graduation, it has not been as easy as she thought. I always wanted to do radio again since I was in Form 2. Form 2, I didn't really realize, oh no, I really want to do radio because then I was doing solo verses and my teachers were like, you have a good voice, you need to do radio. So when I finished Form 4, I was like, I want to do radio and then I did a play in theater with Hearts of Art where I was a, a radio presenter. So, yeah, I thought radio presenting is just going and speaking in a microphone. Yeah, cool. But... <laughs> Ali, mm -hmm. there's a lot to it, a lot of research. You need a certain type of concentration or other multitasking ability. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of two consoles and two computers and two desktops and the telephone and the messages, but it gets easier. It's not like it was in the first two or three months. It not, it's not like I was trash then, mm -hmm. but yeah, it gets easier. <laughs> Being a social media influencer is a business and in some cases when the brand employs multiple people, it's almost like a corporation. And in any business, management is key to success. This is something Azia had realized and made sure she had a manager. My management is, is the, the most amazing thing that ever happened to me. Because without those guys, I miss it. And then, you know, a lot of people, when they're watching this, they'll be like, no, not even a lot of people, let me just go back to Wednesday. I had gone to a certain restaurant, and then that guy wanted me to advertise for the restaurant. And she was like, Azian, nikitaka wa advertise kwa hii restaurant, utatufanyaja, nikambia, you'll have to contact my manager. I was like, I manager 10. I'm like, mbonas, like, why are you mad? Why are you angry? Like any manager, umenulza swali ni makujibu. Ati ya nipe uko na manager. And then, you know, I remember when I was becoming famous, your time, it was a lot of, there's, there's somebody who, I, I don't mention names, there's somebody who had an issue because I told him to go through my management. Guys, management is not someone being rude or being proud. Everyone, as long as you're a talent, you need to have management. And by management, you don't need to look for a professional manager. Even your brother, your dad, your father can be your manager. And why should you have managers? Ali, you know, interview the industry. Come on, you when influencer to on your 10K TikTok, come on 10K Instagram. There's a time you'll get to 15K, and there's a brand that will want to work with you. And the moment they realize that you come there as an individual without um, a management, they'll take advantage of you. Some of them even get you to sign deals that you're not supposed to. To be signing. She didn't pick some stranger to be her manager. In fact, she worked with people who had been with her throughout the entire process. That's business integrity. Something that attracts people to work with you. When I started my theatre career in 2018, my manager noticed me and he signed me up then. My management became my family. They've always vouched for me. They've always been there, even before the famous video. They've known the struggles. They've known the tears, the blood, the sweat. They're basically my ride or die. Being famous has its sets of challenges, and sometimes it's mostly how to relate with people. You know, whatever category you fall in, all of us yearn for success. We want to be better. We want to thrive. We want to make an impact. As I grew up, I've learned that people change. Some of them change adversely. And you know what? It's not your fault. It's okay. If they don't celebrate your success, it's fine. Ignore them. Some prove to be reliable. Embrace them. 